Hey, Bruins? Would you care to explain what happened there? I mean, seriously. It, it was as if I was watching the 2018 series two years ago. You win in game one. Great. And then, <clears throat> give everyone hope. And then you completely just choke away four games straight. What the hell was that? How can you... How can you not even score at all? I mean, you get like one or... You get one, maybe two goals in each of those games. While Tampa Bay's averaging at least three. I mean, hello, wasn't Pasta... Uh, wasn't David Pasternak one of the top scorers in the league? Wasn't his whole line like a dominant offensive force? And what and what happened to that team that was against Carolina in that series where you go from one goal down late in the third to suddenly up by two? What happened to that? Or is Carolina just even or is Carolina just even worse? Cause there's no way a team that can score like that, that can make those kind of comebacks, can't do anything when they play Tampa Bay. Yes, I know, Tampa Bay's a good team. I know they have one of the better goaltenders in the league. We had one of the best offenses in the NHL. So... And yeah, I know a lot of people are going to want to blame Tuca. <clears throat> have already started to blame Tuca. And I, and I, won't de I will not deny that if we had had Tuca Rask... The series would have been a lot closer, and it may have gone to Game 6 or maybe even Game 7. But, I mean, come on. He it, he had a family emergency. You can't really rip on a guy for taking care of his family. You just can't. But even so, we still should have scored more goals than what we scored. I mean, come on. How the hell does David Posternock only get three goals in the playoffs total when when he was one of the best scorers in the league? Didn't he have like 48 or something? <clears throat> something like that? I know there's a number 48 somewhere. I'm just not sure if that's goals or, or points uh, that he accounted for, meaning goals and assists. I don't know. I'm still... Pretty new to hockey. <clears throat> oh, man. I am just done with 2020. Can it? Can we just be done with 2020, please? I mean, this has just been the worst year. I don't even. I don't even know how far back to compare it to. I mean, just from a sports perspective. And, I mean, even just from a sports perspective, uh, first, Pat's losing the wild card. Then we lose Brady. Uh, all the sports were postponed or just outright canceled. Yeah, we lost Brady, and then Gronk decides to go to Tampa, too. And... See, your Red Sox, last time I checked, aren't doing well. Now this. What's next, 2020? What do you have next for us? And, you know, I went in, and, you know, during this series I was thinking, excuse me, sorry, with everything Tampa, that the city of Tampa Bay, from a sports perspective, has gained this year, or more specifically, what they've taken away from us. They took Brady and Gronk. I swear, Tampa Bay and Munich, Germany, because Bayern Munich in the Champions League, are probably the only two cities in the world who have actually been happy in the last six months. During this whole pandemic. 
Uh, again, Bayern, again, Munich, because Bayern Munich winning the Champions League and Bundesliga for like the eighth year in a row. And then Tampa Bay, because they got the greatest quarterback of all time. And then they get the best tight end ever, just, just because. So I thought, you know, maybe it was our turn to take something from them. You know, they took so much from us, we deserve to take something from them. Like this series. But nope. Guess Tampa Bay's getting everything this year. They're getting everything they want. While Boston and just New England in general is left with nothing. But sadness. I'm just sick of 2020. I swear, New Year's Eve, Janu December 31st, 2020, is probably going to be the happiest day of the whole year. And the most celebrated. Because it'll mean the end of one of the worst years in human history. But, but yeah, anyway, that's my rant. I'd say, I'd say hopefully things turn out better in the last four months of the year for us, but, but let's face it, what are the chances of that happening? Best thing that can happen is the Patriots make the playoffs with Cam Newton, which I do believe can happen. I'm still hopeful for that. And maybe the Revs turn their offense around, because we should be scoring more goals than we're averaging. But, and make the playoffs and possibly win the cup, but, I don't know. I'll get to that later when it comes around. But, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. And subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys next time.